Where is biblical Israel today? If you could look at the ancient maps, compare them to the Torah, and imagine the lands described in the Bible, would the answer surprise you? Let's take a journey back in time and explore what the borders of Israel look like and where they truly are today. The Torah describes the original borders of Israel in detail. In Numbers chapter 34, verses 10 to 11, it speaks of boundaries stretching from the river of Egypt, also interpreted as the Nile, to the Euphrates River. This means that the biblical borders weren't just limited to modern day Israel. They included regions that today stretch from Egypt, the Sinai Peninsula, and even parts of what is now Jordan and Syria. Let's take a look at the land of Cush. Cush, which is frequently mentioned in the Torah, is believed to be located in southern Egypt and northern Sudan. In Amos chapter 9 verse 7, God says, Are you not like the people of Cush to me, O people of Israel? This surprising comparison hints at the close ties between ancient Israel and the people of Cush. The borders of Israel extended eastward to Migdal, an ancient site near the Red Sea. According to Numbers 34, Migdal served as a significant point in marking Israel's boundaries. So, what does this mean for today? The ancient boundaries would have included not only parts of Egypt, but areas leading to the Red Sea, encompassing a much larger territory than the modern state of Israel. King Solomon's wisdom wasn't just about resolving disputes or composing proverbs. His marriage to Pharaoh's daughter, as noted in 1 Kings 3 verse 1, played a crucial role in stabilizing the region and defining these borders. Solomon's alliances with Egypt meant that the neighboring lands, including Cush, were maintained in peace, connecting all the way to Israel. Before the Suez Canal was constructed in 1869, Africa and the Sinai Peninsula were part of the same landmass. This means that the biblical land of Israel was connected to Africa without the modern separation we see today. Imagine a land stretching from the Nile down to Cush, reaching to the Red Sea and all connected as one. So, where is biblical Israel today? It extends far beyond the borders of modern Israel. It includes parts of Egypt, the Sinai Peninsula, Jordan, Sudan, and Ethiopia. The biblical Israel was not confined to a narrow strip of land. It spanned regions that are part of Africa today. The surprising evidence from the Torah and ancient maps shows us just how expansive the promised land really is. Let's walk in wisdom and uncover these hidden truths together.